Absolutely you can. If you read that question above your screen or wherever you have that question, can you make money off of Instagram? Of course you can. Why not? Take a look at the screen in front of me. Um, this is just a blog post that I have written. If you've been following my work, I help people in affiliate marketing understand how to start their business, how to get a passive income, and how to do it the right way. Um, but today, what I want to, that's a whole nother time, that's a whole nother topic. But um, what I want to talk about today is can you make money off of Instagram and why not? You know, simply as that, why not? Maybe you've tried already in the past, maybe you've tried and you haven't succeeded, or maybe you're just starting to get into Instagram and you're, trying, you're starting to understand how you can uh, make money off of them, but you just don't know how to gain traction. You don't understand who to talk to, how to talk to somebody, or, or just how to get the attention. How do you get your audience, right? And for those of you who don't not know about things like that, it's, you know, it's all about getting the right, your offer right in front of the uh, right people at the right time. Those two things is what's going to help. Um, so if I go over here to the whiteboard for a quick second, you just got to understand that anything you sell with people in general, say this is you, I'm not great at drawing, so bear with me. So anything that you're talking to people about, you know, you have, you have this over here, right? You have the dollar sign, but you still have to understand how to get to your audience. Do Audi. And then you got to add the fact that you need traffic, right? So it's one thing that you're creating an awareness, which is what you need. You need to create an awareness, but you also need to understand how to get that audience, that right audience and that right traffic. Um, and so many people, you know, now I'm not talking just affiliate marketing here, but in general, they don't, they don't do it the right way. What they do is they think, oh, it's not working for me. Well, I just gave somebody a link or I just gave somebody, you know, I just talked to somebody, but they, they weren't interested in what I had. That's where it all goes wrong. You know, and I've been working on Instagram for such a long time now. And, you know, I've been able to experience it, things and it's opened my eyes to how it works and how you can make money off of them and how to sell things. Um, whether you're selling anything, art, book, free books, your books, your clothing, you name it, pills, weight loss pills, anything. You have to have ways of doing it correctly. And what many people do, if they have links, like in affiliate marketing, you send somebody a link and they and they buy it, you know, you get a commission for it. Many people think they just, you know, they're going to spam. They're going to spam right here. Look, this is where they mess up. This is where they get stuck. So they got this guy right here. You got this guy right here. This girl right here. And then you got another person right here. After you're done trying with those, you go to that person. Oh, uh, you just, you're tired now. So you go to this person. You, that's got to stop. All this has to stop. Okay, and I'm going to teach you how you can do these things. And I talk more about them in depth in my article, so make sure you check out the article. I can't obviously cover it all because I'm not going to take too much of your time. But, you know, there are ways of doing it. There's one way organically, of course. You know, growing out your traffic on Instagram by... It's probably not right. But, um by posting more content. So you gotta post more pictures, more content. Use it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a place for images, guys. It's, this is where you need to show people who you are. People buy from people who they trust. They don't just buy from somebody randomly. So you can't be that person who goes into somebody's direct message box. Like I've seen many people do into me. I think they're gonna make, you know, it doesn't end up that way. I'm gonna just say who I am and I'm gonna leave them a link and, Never talk to them again. Things don't work like that. So you have to, you know, provide value first. Talk with people. Provide that value. 10x the value first. You know, what I talk about is give them a jab, jab, punch. Or even better is what I do is give them jab, 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 punch. So more information, the better. You can never have too much information. Um, and that's the way it's going to work. So you want to be able to utilize your posts. Um, get your bio in there. Fix your bio. You know, shape it up, put a link in the bio, and I teach you all about that and how to make money with it and how you can drive more traffic. I have, I have other blog posts in my 
articles that you can read about how to drive more traffic just by getting your bio together. And I and the reason I know all this is because I've had a specific training for it. I haven't just picked up a book. I actually work through social media management. And so I'm able to now I was growing my accounts without any help to begin with. And now I'm growing it with a social media management tool that I use, which I won't get into. That's not what I'm here for. But um, that's one way to, you know, you want to use the Instagram stories. If you're not using these Instagram stories, you're losing a lot of money. You're, you're, you're not putting any money on the table. And I've seen so many people walk away. I've, I've even helped people on the training pl platform that I'm a part of. Some girl had, some lady had frustrations with not being able to work through Instagram, not not knowing how, you know, you, you know, people were going to her site. What was it for? I was like using it for. But people don't understand that they got to utilize this. They got to utilize the stories. And I know you don't like to put your, probably your face on camera. I don't either. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, introverted. I'm more of an ambivert, more a little more introvert. But uh, once you get this concept down, you understand that you don't always have to put your face on camera. You can always put a picture, put a couple pictures, provide people with value in your stories. Remember, again, don't put links to your bio right away. Don't, don't do that. You want to start be telling people, you know, give them a story. What I do sometimes, for example, what you can do is like if I have a book, um, I'm going to take a picture of that title or the page that I'm reading, give them something informational and useful, and then do it again. Send another 10-second story on a different page and a different page and a different page, and then you know, work from there. And then you could potentially offer a sell. But you have to be able to work that in. Um, so stories is very useful. Um, you know, you got to make sure you have your hashtags on point. You got to have that information in there. You got to have, you got to be as truthful as you are, as you can be, because people can see through that. You have to know you're providing them with the right value. You're providing, you're getting in front of the right audience, in front of the right target audience that you want. Okay. Um, another one. See how I'm doing on time here. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I talk about this again more in depth in my article. Another one here, you can do ads. Nothing wrong with paying advertisements, okay? I know, you know, it's gotta, you gotta spend money to make money. That's the truth. You gotta spend some money to make money. And I learned that and I had to learn it the hard way. I was doing a lot of affiliate marketing, what I was doing, all SEO at the beginning. Um, which was good, you know, taught me how to learn all that. That's why I've already automated my my work. But um, if I had to go back and build another one, that way I would know how to do it. And I would focus on two sources of traffic and one paid advertisement that I'm working on. One source of advertisement, Google ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and go on it and, and work on it. Focus on that one. So you can drive traffic from Instagram. Instagram has a lower entry barrier to entry to uh, paying for ads as opposed to Facebook. And, you know, the audience is growing much, much bigger. We're talking billions. Um, I don't have the exact number, but I know I have it in my articles. Um, but it's been growing. And so that's another way. Make sure you get in front of their audience. And I talk about how to structure that. Um, another one, like I talked about, social media management. Let's see, S, M, M. I didn't want to complete the whole thing. But that's basically you're going to be able to automate your account. So you would just talk to like your management team and tell them what messages you want to send out, what comments you want to send out, the direct messages, the hashtags. If you have a specific audience, narrow that down. Um, but yeah, you want to get in front of them. And if you get in front of them, you're going to have enough eyes to your profile. Um, I think I have one here. I can show you. Um, I think I'm on my account at the moment. Here, see, I, well, this one doesn't actually tell me the amount of views. I can see on my phone, it'll tell me. But up here in this general direction, I have, had like about 400 and something views in seven days, which is bananas. Um, so it does work. It's helpful. See, so you got to create content. Like I've created content here. Um, and that's just how people see my work. And I have a link right here. And this link, you know, they open it up and it takes them to, it takes them to, my links, basically, my offer links, you know, my opt-in pages where they want to, you know, you, know, you got to warm up people beforehand, too. Uh, sometimes says it's not available. It is, but sometimes it just doesn't. Um, but, yeah, you got to learn that there are those ways of doing it. Um, other ways, you know, you can talk to influencers. I've done that already. 
talk with influencers, talk with them, see if they can share your work um, and so forth. And then, you know, you really just got to focus on those stories. Like I said, right now, 2019, you really got to start focusing on stories. Um, it's not all about linking to people. And I actually teach people how to do all this now because I, you know, I have my own social media management tool. But, you know, like I said here, see, I talk with people. I know I don't like talking with people so much too to sell to them. I don't like doing that. I like, I like already having a warm lead. I focus on the warm lead more now than I do with cold leads. Um, just because I've gone to that point already. I'm not having to say yes to everything. But things like, if I can find it here. If I go to my direct message box, see it's, this account is automating everything. The, the media management team, when somebody follows me, sends them a message or, or the management team sends somebody a message. Um, you know, a direct message that I created myself. And then it has comments, but you're getting everything organically. So it's not, not an automated bot. You have a good team and uh, they even have a Facebook place for that. But just using things, you know, if you're a beginner, focusing on just organically growing your uh, your Instagram, posting a lot, being active on there, focusing on the stories, focusing on your bio, uh, finding out who your target audience is, who are the people that are following you, know them, understand them, um, see their profile, and then, you know, getting also into things like paying for advertisements, um, get your work shown out there, um, you know, getting social media management. You can get that from the very beginning if you want to, or you can wait a little bit of time and then get into it, but that's helpful. Um, more eyes, more leads, um, you know, getting, just getting influencers to help you out and just basic stuff like that. So yeah, that's all I want to leave you with. There's obviously more information, um, but make sure you check out the link that I have in the description for you. It'll take you to my site where I've written my blog posts and everything that you need to know. So yeah, thank you.